before we get to the details, check out this edit where it highlights some of the places I've been and some of the riding that I've done on this bike. First question is easy. In the six months I've had this bike, I have had zero issues. Everything has worked well. The bushings on the lower link have caused no noise and no issues whatsoever. So no, no problems at all. Pretty much every kind of trail. I've been on downhill trails, cross country trails, for long rides, uh, tech up and down, um, flow trails, jump trails. Pretty much, that pretty much covers everything. And this is the good question. Someone who is looking for one bike in their stable and they want it to be capable of going to big park days, they want to be able to jump it, they want to be able to ride it on big cross country long riding days, have one capable bike that's capable of doing everything under the sun, that's the person who is looking for this bike. Now it's definitely biased towards descending, but it still plays nice on cross country trails just as well. The answer to that is not exactly. When I bought this bike, it is specced with the Fox DPX2 with Ibis's traction tune. It is a very light tune. It moves very fast down. It moves very fast up. It's kind of like a pogo stick. And if you're not used to it, the first time you ride it, you might be a little alarming. What I would suggest for riders at say 170 pounds or more, if you're gonna get a bike with the Ibis traction tune, and I, that's not just the Mojo, but any of the other ones, I would say make sure that you upgrade the shock to whatever version is the Fox Factory or whatever else they offer that has a high speed compression and a low speed compression change uh, adjustability to it. This one does not have anything but rebound and then the three, the three, the rebound and the three settings of open uh, trail mode and and uh, firm and then you can use volume spacers inside the shock to further tune it aside from that though if you're a heavier rider you may find that this bike kicks you when you're trying to jump it does stay planted and that tune works very well for plowing through stuff at higher speeds but when you start getting air and things to that nature you may find that their traction tune without enough adjustability it can be a little scary, especially when you're jumping. So I would say, yes, it's for most people, but don't rob yourself of a good adjustable shock. If you're a lighter weight rider, such as myself, I'm, I fall a little more towards the 160 and down, this tune works very well for me. So if you're a lighter rider, it really doesn't affect you. If you're a heavier rider, you may not gel well with a shock without enough adjustability to it. So yeah, for me, if I was had the opportunity to buy this bike again to go back in time, without a doubt, this would be the bike that I wanted. I like 27 and a half wheels just because they're a little easier to throw around. I'm a short dude at five foot six and nothing. <laughs> but the bike, I would definitely buy it again. It fits all the needs that I like. It's big. It has enough travel to where it lets me get away with a lot more mistakes and I feel safe on it. The bike can take whatever I throw at it. I'm the weak link. Wink link. I am the weak link for the bike. So the bike can take pretty much anything I can throw at it and it will allow me to progress. As my riding progresses, it'll allow me to keep going bigger without having to worry about did I get enough bike. Am I overbiked? 
a lot of the time I am, but the bike, it's geometry, which I will put down in the description uh, if you want to check that out. But the bike's geometry plays very well with the way I ride. I like to jib around. I like to uh, jump and I like to go down fast takey sections. It does everything that I need it to do. So yes, absolutely, I would buy it again. And I would recommend it to anyone who's looking for one bike who can fit a very, very broad range of things. So these were five simple questions that I thought would be pertinent for anybody looking at this bike and maybe wondering anything about it. Everything else about the bike, the bottom line is that it's very good all arounder. You can do pretty much any kind of riding you want to on it and it will take it. So I hope that answers your, any questions that you might have. If you have any more questions, leave me a comment below and just let me know. I will do my absolute best to give the answer. And also, if you like the video, remember to give it a thumbs up, hit that red subscribe button, and until next time, go live life big.